everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing our new homeschool schedule for the 2022-2023 homeschool year. So you know what to do, grab a cup of whatever and let's chat about it. All right, so this is the first year where I'm actually really excited for our schedule. If you guys have been following me for all these years, you know that I am super like flowy. I am more like we need to have a flow and a routine, but not necessarily a time scheduled. But this year, this year we're doing a time schedule because I just feel like the kids need it as they grow, as they change, as life changes. This is a change that needs to happen, especially for my oldest one who she has specific goals and I wanna help her get to those goals. And part of achieving her goals is being on time and working in a timely manner. So I'm so excited to break down this schedule with you. It all starts at 9 a.m. That is our starting point and our morning meeting. So during our morning meeting, we will be discussing what is expected out of everyone for that day what work Journey will accomplish, what work Titus will accomplish, and what work Teo will accomplish for that day. This meeting is gonna be no longer than 15 minutes, but Journey will be writing everything that she needs to accomplish down in her journal, and Titus and Teo, I'll be writing it on a board for them. So that's gonna take like the 15 minutes, but I think it's necessary for us to just have a group meeting, come to Jesus moment of, this is what's expected out of you for this day. Uh, kind of giving them a roadmap for the day. So that's gonna be our morning meeting from nine to about 9.15. From 9.15 to 10 a.m., two things are happening, all right? We are going to have Journey and Titus doing their dear time, D-E-A-R, drop everything and read. So they will be dropping everything and reading for about 25 minutes. Um, after that 25 minutes is up for their independent reading, they will then go into independent work. So this is when Titus will be doing spelling and Journey will be doing her Bible. Now, during that time where they will not need my help, please, Jesus, I will be independently working with Teo for all of his work. So this is Teo's block from 9.15 to about 10 a.m. where he will get done all his letter work and all of his number work, math work for the day. I'm really hoping that we can do it in about 45 minutes. I believe in us. I really do. I think him and I can do it if we're not interrupted. And Journey and Titus are really good. Well, Journey's really good about independent work. Titus does like to ask questions just to make sure he's doing what needs to be done. But I think if I set him up right during our morning meeting, We'll be fine. All right, so now it is 10 a.m. And do not ask me what Teo's doing for the rest of the day because I have no clue yet. I'm still working on that. It's gonna be a mixture of like independent play, knowledge crates, um, epic, and yeah, it's gonna be a mixture of that kind of stuff. But I, I need to like get that down more. Okay, so now we have our 10 a.m. block, and this is gonna be our math and science block for Journey and Titus. Um, during this time, I will be working one-on-one -on -one with Titus to get his math done, and I will be kind of checking in on Journey as she works through her math and her science with Monarch um, Learning with AOP. Again, this block is gonna last an hour, so Titus will have an hour of really good math lessons, and then then Journey 2 will have an hour of her math and her science. Now, if we're in it and it's looking like she needs a different hour for science, like she can't do math and science together, then that's totally fine. We'll, we'll cross that bridge if we get to it. But for right now, it will be math and science. After that 10 o'clock math and science block, we are going to have our 11 o'clock language, spelling, and history block for 
Journey and Titus. Now, the language and the history is only for Journey, and then the language and the spelling is only for Titus. Even though Journey is going to be doing spelling through her language with Monarch, Titus has a very different like spelling book than his language book. So he's going to be doing both of those. Now, I told you he's doing spelling independently in the morning, and then we're going to pick it up again during our 11 a.m. block. After that block, we have our 12 o'clock lunch break. And I'm gonna give us a good hour, hour and a half for a good lunch, a lunch that's not rushed, a lunch that is intentional, a pause of our day, time together, maybe some poetry, who knows? I'm, I'm putting in that break for the day. We need it. We need that break so bad. And it needs to not be rushed. It needs to be calm. It needs to be, again, intentional. And that can last us anywhere between 1 to 1.30. So after our lunch break is our 1 o'clock, finish what needs to get done, review what you learn, and read aloud block. So say we finish lunch at about 1 o'clock then they will have about 30 minutes to finish up what needs to get done, review their work, make sure they got it all finished. This is also gonna be a time where I'm gonna take Teo and we're gonna review what we learned earlier that day. After the review and the finishing up what needs to get done part, we will then come together and we will end our day with group read aloud. This is brilliant. I really hope this works because this sounds brilliant right like this sounds like the best schedule i've ever made i'm really hopeful that's all i'm saying uh but ending our day with read aloud i'm hoping we'll kind of just like as you can see we're starting our day with reading and we're ending our day with reading and i think that's gonna be good y'all i think it's gonna be good so hopefully we are done with our day between 1 45 2 o'clock ish um, again, if lunch doesn't end until 1.30 or if I know that, oh, they all got their work done during their blocks and there's no need to review anything or go back to something, then we don't have to do review and we can spend one to two really just reading and relaxing together and ending the day together. And that's our day. So from 9 a.m. to about two o'clock, it's going to be school. It's going to be work they are going to show up this year and work hard and lord willing it's going to be the same thing every day the same routine every day and that's something i'm working on that's a dis that's me the kids would love that if i can only get on top of that and i just get so bored with the mundane cycle of school so i'm really trying with the womanhood we're working on discipline and i am going to be very disciplined when it comes to this is our day this is what we do from 9 a.m to 2 period all right guys so that's our new homeschool schedule let me know how your days are gonna go down below in the comments i love hearing from you ladies if you are not subscribed yet click that red subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up Tell all your friends about us and we'll be back again with another video soon. Bye guys.